Well, Peter Wynn, thank you for uh, coming in and being our inaugural guest on the Cumberland Throw. Welcome to it. Thank you very much. Great thrill. Thanks for thinking of me. Now, 163 games, uh, six for New South Wales, three caps for Australia. How did a boy from the bush end up playing for Parramatta? And that's a good story, I suppose, in itself, that growing up wanting to play rugby league in Sydney, you know, it was all about doing the best you could, knowing that you could play the game, and hopefully to achieve the goal you'd set yourself. So, I mean, I come from the country, I started playing the Tamora Midgets in 1964, which is four stone seven those days. Yep. And then from there, progressed to Werris Creek. My father was on the railways, we moved from different towns, played in Werris Creek right through until I finished school in 1975. So, carried on playing rugby league, primary school, high school, and of course for the town, and then uh, still love the game, whatever injuries you had along the way, or whatever setbacks you might have had at schoolboy level. Still that desire to play the game didn't leave me. And um, from there I got a scholarship to go to Wollongong Teachers College in Wollongong yep. at, uh, to do secondary mathematics, so I studied down there. And uh, the desire to keep playing the game, not being lost to it, not you know, being injured and losing focus, you know, that all stayed with me. And then I played with the Royal Butchers in the Illawarra competition for three years. And during that time I represented Illawarra in the uh, Caldex Country Divisional Championships, which in, as a kid growing up in the country, that was the, the goal, was to play on that Sydney cricket ground at some stage for country. But the, the ultimate goal was to play for Australia. Yeah. So as a kid growing up in the bush, it was all about um, having expectations of yourself, always you know, just kept playing the game. In summer you'd, you'd swim or play a little bit of cricket, but winter was all about playing rugby league, and that, that didn't leave me. And uh, as I progressed from, like, from the four stone seven, which I mentioned, right through to high school, right through to grade, it was always that goal to come to Sydney because that's what it was all about, yeah. playing Sydney. There was only 12 teams in those days, and there was a thing called the third import rule. So it was always competitive mm -hmm. to get the opportunity. So in 77, I played for Illawarra, as I mentioned, the old MCO Cup yeah. up at Lang Park. And yeah. then in 78, I got picked for Illawarra again in the MCO Cup and for country divisional championships. We had a good side, a great side, and they appointed a uh, special coach by the name of Tommy Bishop, who was well known as a ex-Cronulla player, ex-Great Britain. Um, player. Yeah. So I'd watched him play in the 73 grand final for Cronulla, so straight away he had my respect. And I think as a player that's the biggest thing to respect the bloke who's guiding you off the field and then he fell into that category. So in 78 I played for country and then the offers started coming through that we're going to do next year. I received an offer in 1977 to um, trial for Penrith and to trial for Western Suburbs but in myself I knew I wasn't strong enough, I knew I wasn't ready. So I waited another year and then um, after being picked to play for country um, as I said, offers came through from eight different clubs in Sydney, the Manly, from Western Suburbs, from Cronulla, from St George, from Parramatta. Mm -hmm. But you're on your own. You didn't have player managers those days. Mm -hmm. So my break with Parramatta came after an MCO Cup match. We played at Leichhardt Oval against Balmain and we won the game. Anyway, um, as I walked out there was Ray Warren standing there and I met Ray through the MCO Cup as I played court and he said, what are you doing next year? And my answer was, I've got to finish my college mm. training, but I'm hoping to play rugby league in Sydney. He said, you thought about Parramatta? I said, no, I hadn't. He said, give me your number. And he was standing next to one of our Parramatta's train, big Joe Joseph. I know we all know Joe. Yeah. And anyway, next morning I got a phone call from Terry Fernley. He said, Peter, I'd like to speak to you about coming to Parramatta. Ray Warren was the link that brought you to Parramatta? He was the first person to mention me about playing at Parramatta. Yeah. Like I'd played, I spoke to the Bulldogs, I'd spoken to St George, Cronulla, Balmain, Manly, all these different teams. Because as I think I'm, what I said before, it was a 13 input rule, I don't know if you're aware of that, but a 13 input rule means each yep. club could only buy 13 players from outside the district. Yeah. So to get that level of playing for country, and we had a good side, that little warrior side I told you about, we got right through to the quarterfinals yeah. of the MCO Cup. We got knocked off by Balmain, so I had plenty of exposure. So these clubs had an opportunity to, to look and see that, you know, maybe this bloke could play, yeah. you know. So, I walked out of there and he was, with, he was there and that's what Rab said to me. But I'd met Rab's previously, you know, up in Lane Park in Brisbane. And he, because Ray Warren played for the Crindai Grasshoppers, I don't know if you know that. But I came from Werris Creek, right? So, so we had a little bit of affiliation when I first met the guy. So um, and I always remember meeting him for the first time. I went to get on the bus, there's one suit left for the bus. But Ray Warren's face was synonymous with rugby league, so I was looking for everyone else to sit. And he says, young Wynn, sit next to me. So I like to sit next to Ray Warren, you know, and he said, oh, I used to play for Crindai Grasshoppers. He said, I know you come from Werris Creek. I said, did you? He said, yeah, actually I was a league try scorer in 1964. <laughs> so I never let him forget that, so I always had a good association with him. 
And even now, Rabs is still my mate. He does my advertising on Triple M and so on. But that little relationship that you build up with people, that's what it's all about, you know, so. Another reason to thank Ray Warren. Yeah, oh, Rabs. So that was it. He just said to me as I walked out, what are you doing next year? It's as simple as that.